I just want to show you more on the quality of work from Beaverlaw Cabins in Bridgend, Donegal. I'm just showing you this time the corner of the living room, all the water that's come in. You can see all the way up the wall. You can see the water staining all the way up the wall. And Trevor Watson, who is the director of Beaver Log Cabins in Bridgend, Donegal, told me this is because the painter diluted the paint. My painter diluted the paint. And of course, this was only told to me a week after the house was painted when the first rain came in. And it was then told to me that my painter diluted the paint and it was his fault that the walls were leaking because he diluted the paint. <laughs> and of course, his workman, Trevor Watson's workman, saw him diluting the paint, which of course my painter denies. My painter is a guy who works for years in the painting industry and he didn't dilute the paint. So we're just moving into the bedroom um, just to show you the uh, same old ding dong on the wall here. If you can see down in the corner, the, the mould, sorry, the mould, the mould, the mould. And again, you can see up the wall all the staining and the mould from the water right up. Oh, right up there. And we come over to the other corner here in the bedroom and it's the same old thing again. Down in the corner, you can see all the mold from the stick from the water staining. And up again, you can see the um, stain from the water coming in. All the water stains. And we'll just go to the, we'll just go to the window over the bed. I had to get someone to put in um, this blue pasty stuff to, because there was no ceiling in the windows whatsoever. So the water poured in and you can see all the green mold there again. All right, so I want to show you now the, um, the gaps that I've talked about in the walls where you can just see in the bedroom there, a nice big gap, okay? And we come out in, into the living room and you can see a piece of the, the wall is actually coming down and you can go up and you can see the gaps where the, the light can come in from the bedroom to the living room. Huge gaps. And I'll just show you one more thing, how the partition wall is actually loose. Let me see now, I'll try and keep this still. The partition wall is loose. I can't actually close my door because if I do, the pictures fall off the wall. So to close the door, I have to use this device, a chain. I use a chain because if I close the door, I have to bang it so hard because it doesn't close properly that the wall rocks back and forth and my pictures start falling off. Okay, so we'll just come over here one more and show you some more of the big gaps. You can see all the gaps in the wood all along there and you can see how it's over the bathroom door it's all crooked with gaps and again gaps in the wall all right and in some places i'll just show you the gap over over by the fire the gap is so big you can you can actually see right in beyond it and you can see the what you call it um insulation stuff right but there isn't insulation all around the house but that's another another story so plenty of stuff to keep showing you uh yeah one more thing if you look at Beaverlock Cabin Bridge End website they go on about their interlocking system how secure and straight it is have a look at mine look at this look at how these things there aren't, there aren't even the teeth to interlock look just absolute rubbish look at that and I had to get uh, somebody in to actually put a piece of wood up on top because the whole thing was coming loose. I just thought it'd be nice to have a look at that and again, compare it to what the claims they make on their website. Lovely. Thank you.